In the last soundbite video, we went over what effective moment arm is and its role in creating skating force. Now I want to talk about how changes in tone arm design can change the effective moment arm from tone arm to tone arm, which will result in different impact on skating force, depending on your arm design. You're also going to get quite a big confession from me, too, because I'm going to highlight an area where I have been for quite some time wrong about the amount of anti-skating force that should be applied to your arm depending on arm length. Let's just say that my understanding of effective moment arm and its influence on skating force has matured since I last published the last update to the Wally Skater instructions, but suffice it to say what I previously understood was slightly wrong and I'm going to show you how I now know that I was wrong. Okay, so once again, we've got two tone arms, so representations of tone arms here, right? Here's the 229 inch tone, uh, 229 millimeter tone arm, and here's the 305 millimeter tone arm, roughly corresponding to a 9 inch and a 12 inch. Now again, look at the effective moment arms. They are virtually identical. By the way, I, the way I have this drawing set up is that both of these arms are in a locked relationship with respect to their playing radius. So they're virtually identical with their effective moment arms. As they go down, they go down together. And where's their minima? Their minima is somewhere around, somewhere around right, right here somewhere. So both of them at about 89. See how close they are? They're virtually indistinguishable. And then at the innermost. So there you are seeing where I have been wrong. Anti-skating force should not vary depending upon your tone arm length. And 10% is our target. 10% is the figure that was established in more than one study over the decades, and by the way, recently corroborated by a video that we had translated out of Russia and then did some, some calculations, uh, to be the average skating force uh, across the record. So, here is my mea culpa. Uh, the, the instructions that are really still out there right now as of this date in uh, April of 2025 for the Wally Skater are slightly wrong. We will not change our anti-skating force depending on tone arm length. We're going to aim for 